right, now we're going to talk about pulley drive systems. All right, with pulley drive systems, you're going to use a belt with those pulleys. So there are four different types of belts. You've got your flat belts, which are for uh, distances apart, about 5 to 10 meters. They're for low power, high speed. You've got the round belts. They're for smaller initial tension, the absence of vibration and noise, high power, shaft distance greater than 5 meters. For a V-belt, that's for closer distances, less than 2 meters apart. They have high power, and they're known for moderate speed. Your timing belts are for precise and reliable. Okay, and they have got the little grooves in it as well. Okay, the equations you use to do the math is just like the gears. The only difference is that it does not have number of teeth. Because the pulleys are smooth, they've got the groove in it for the belt to go into, but there are no teeth on these pulleys. So you just have your diameter, your angular velocity, and your torque. Again, diameter and torque are out over in, angular velocity is in over out. Okay, and with the pulley, it's just like the sprockets. You can put more than one a thing along that belt. You don't only have to have one like I'm showing in the video, but you could have more just like on sprockets. You'd be able to have more if you wanted than just the driver and the driven. So let's go ahead and compare pulleys and sprockets. Uh, with pulleys and sprockets, obviously one's got a belt and one's got a chain. So you're going to have with the sprocket a little less chance of slip because of the chain. And you are going to get a greater strength because it's going to have more ability to grip and move that. Uh, the good thing about pulleys though is they're quiet. They don't require any lubrication. They're inexpensive. And they really are better at high speeds. Again, we're trading that speed and torque. Sprockets are better at torque. Pulleys are better at higher speeds. Now disadvantages for pulleys is that they can slip and they have a tendency to wear on that belt. The sprockets, they do cost more, you need to lubricate them, they're new, noisy, um, and sometimes they can get hung up if they are at high speeds because those chains just can't quite keep up. 